I will pick you up at 11 in the morning. It could be that when you tried doing this, you were unsure about what to do with the word up. You will learn later on that uh, pick up is known as a phrasal verb. That is, it consists of a verb plus a preposition. And phrasal verbs are very feature very commonly in spoken oral language and has crept its way more and more into the written language. Many phrasal verbs you can replace by one word. So for example, here it would be, I will collect you at 11 o'clock. Another example would be, um, she gave in the fight. And gave in is also a phrasal verb, but you would then say, she submitted the fight. And submitted and collect are perhaps examples of more formal like language. Anyway, I will pick up you at 11 in the morning. Now, how can we show this uh, in terms of a syntax tree? I will pick up somebody and so I will I will do something. I'll collect somebody. It's a transitive verb. It has an object but it has some things at the end there as well at 11 and in the morning. So Let's do the easy part first. The sub is actually just the subject itself. It's realized as a noun phrase. It's a noun. Um, actually, it's a pronoun. And it's the word I. <coughs> now the predicate consists of predicator. Will pick up. You is the direct object. And there are two adverbials, at 11 and in the morning. Writer can conceivably stop at, I'll pick you up, and at 11, and in the morning, provide extra information. Let's do some of the adverbials first. This adverbial is a prepositional phrase. It consists of a preposition in and the noun phrase, and we have that. You've seen a few examples of these. Similarly, this adverbial is also a prepositional phrase, and it consists of a preposition and a noun phrase realizes a noun. We have at at and 11. Now the direct object, also reasonably easy here, it's a noun phrase. And the noun phrase consists of a pronoun. Now I've written this you and I've written up here and up is, an, is not a pronoun here. Um, <clears throat> in fact I'd like to get rid of this line here you see. I'm not quite sure how to do this on this mind mapping program. But if you bear with me just here and what we will do is Ah, let's just leave this for a moment up here and go instead to the predicator and in the predicator we have well it's realized as a verb phrase and there are two verbs here you have the the uh, finite verb it's a modal verb and then you have the non-finite verb and it's pick and it exists here pick up but you can also have this in this position here and that's why I've drawn it in this particular manner. And I have the arrow going here just to indicate that this is where syntactically um, it is, but it can be used also in this position. 